Now to never before seen JFK files about to be made public this week. President Trump says he plans to allow the already scheduled release of thousands of classified documents, a move that has scholars and conspiracy theorists buzzing. ABC's David Wright is here with all of those details. Good morning, David. Good morning, Amy. Back in 1992, in the wake of Oliver Stone's movie, Congress wanted to put an end to conspiracy theories surrounding the JFK assassination, so they ordered all of the documents released. They set a final deadline, 25 years down the road, everything to be unsealed by then unless the president objects. Well, that deadline is up this week, and the president plans to let it go forward. The very existence of top secret files concerning the Kennedy assassination has fueled countless conspiracy theories. This weekend, President Trump tweeted, I will be allowing, as president, the long-blocked and classified JFK files to be opened, clearing the way for the imminent release of some 3,000 pages, mostly from CIA and FBI case files. President Kennedy has been shot in Dallas, Texas. November 22, 1963, Dealey Plaza, cold-blooded murder in broad daylight. It shocked the nation. Many Americans still have questions more than 50 years later. Trump confidant Roger Stone says he urged the president to release everything. They're likely to show that Lee Harvey Oswald was trained, nurtured, and put in place by the Central Intelligence Agency. Was Lee Harvey Oswald acting alone? Or was the CIA, or the KGB, or the Mafia pulling the strings? Those are the biggest conspiracy theories. What we're going to find out is a lot more about the last few months of Lee Harvey Oswald's life, what he was doing, what he was up to, and whether the CIA or FBI were picking up additional information about him. But not everyone is happy. The intelligence community, for one, the president enjoys stirring up controversy, and this will definitely stir up nationwide controversy. And the Kennedy family says Trump didn't consult them. I understand the historical value of those documents. I don't dispute that. Um, they also happen to be quite personal as well. Well, millions of documents have come out over the past 25 years, but for the conspiracy theorists, this final trove of documents is Christmas Day. Okay, and well, I have to ask you, do we know, do we have any idea of what's inside those documents? According to the National Archives, this is a lot of stuff from the case files from the FBI and the CIA. Most interestingly, uh, there is apparently testimony in there from one of the Watergate conspirators, E. Howard Hunt. But is this all stuff that has already been looked at by historians, even though it has been widely released publicly? It's been looked at by archivists, uh, and we should have a heads up. They said, don't expect any huge bombshells, but there could be some interesting tidbits. Certainly a lot of new data points for those conspiracy to, yeah, theories. To feed those conspiracy <laughs> theories. All right, David, thank you.